Freibenfreude in German translates out into English as color joy, the joy of color. To me, I think it's a joy to see color. I just love lots and lots of colors. I have some preferences. And I think I dream in color. It's like I get myself some free entertainment in my dreams. And color is a major part of it. I think it was probably with crayons. What, what, color, what crayons are called, the, co the colors. You know, on cr each crayon they have fuchsia, you know, periwinkle. I was interested in that. Red and pink and white stand for love. And just plain red stands for angry. And blue stands for sad. Yellowish orange stands for stands for happy. And in your super angry, I'd just like do one thing of red and then just do like two lines like for like for steam coming out of ears. I just remember my beautiful brown collie puppy uh, when I was about three I was rocking in a swing and uh, green grass and blue sky and and the tiny little wiggly puppy in my arms. That's fantastic. I like buying them when the new colors come out mm -hmm. because sometimes it's fun to just mix and match. It's great for somebody that can never make up their mind what color they like. It's playing with the idea of colorful, cheery. You can get black or brown, but you'll notice I don't have anything really brown. The closest I have is this cinnamon. It's cute. It drives some people crazy. Color affects my mood tremendously. I notice that in the springtime, people get in much more of a hurry for the spring colors. I noticed little girls in the wintertime even wearing a lot of pink. And now I know more and more older women, uh, you, you, we run to get yellows and pinks in February and March because we want to rush the spring. In fact, I used to go to the little subway to go get a whole dose of yellow as much as, as to get something to eat and I don't feel as much drawn to going to the new one because it doesn't have the bright yellow. I would really have to say black is the best color since black goes with everything. <laughs>